Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but it just happened two days ago at this point. But, you know, we've been talking about it a little bit on our channel. Arsenal lost. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. They yeah. lost the semifinals for the Champions League against Wolfsburg. And it was, I did not watch the whole match. And I watched the highlights. I mean, it was heartbreaking. I, I I can't remember a match as heartbreaking as this one recently, you yeah. know. It went 125 minutes. Wow. Sarah and I were out and about and I'm like, oh, we'll catch it later because we weren't home. And then I saw that it was still going on in the 110th minute. They were still tied at that point. And then they unfortunately lost 60,000 people at the Emirates. Wow, that's a lot of people. 60 thousand people nice uh, but yeah who watched the game who is heartbroken 125 minutes i mean i did watch some of the game but i mean arsenal got out strong scoring in the 10th minute black Sinius, again scoring 10th minute yeah. um then wolfsburg came back in the 40th minute joe ward scored and then the 57th minute alexander pop returned and scored that wasn't the winner but that was I mean, that's exciting to see her score. Yeah. Um, then in the 74th minute, Jen Beatty, the goal of a lifetime. I heard the commentator say one of the most iconic goals she will have has ever scored. So much extra time. And those are the kind of games. It's like Sarah knows me. I did not watch this game. But when a game gets like that, I can't stay in the room. I have to like go do dishes. I have to go I, leave the room. I, I like those are the kind of games I love. Like, Do where you? you're just like you're not even in your seat anymore. You're just standing and you're just like screaming at the TV. I can't watch them. I get just... too my I get too uneasy because I I can't I hate when my team loses. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, in the 114th minute, Katie M Katie McCabe, it was so close. I'm sure everyone was watching this video saw this saw the shot, but it was. so so close, Sarah. It was so close. Ugh, that's the worst. That would have been, the whole Emirates would have erupted. They would have heard this in another country. That, that, I yeah. thought you were going to say another planet. <laughs> another planet, yes, because it was so close. Um, and then in the 118th minute, um, Wolfsburg scored. And that was it. Well, no, that wasn't it. It went to 125 minutes, I think, altogether. But that was the winning goal. Mm. And uh, after the game... You could just see how heartbroken the Arsenal players were. I saw Leah Williamson. I saw some videos of her just, you know, she wasn't playing, obviously, yeah. um, walking around and on all the Arsenal players were just completely heartbroken. And, you know, but that's the way it goes. You know, I always say someone has to win, someone has to lose. It just sucks that they had to lose at home like that. But the fans are yeah. great. They were so supportive. They, you know, were respectful of Wolfsburg when they won, you know. The only tragedy, I would say, is that in the 84th minute, I don't know what minute, Lara Wayne Rotter, Wayne Rotter. I'm sorry, the pronunciation is bad. I'm so sorry for that. She went down and it did not look good. And it, I, I, at this point, we're filming this video. There's no official update on her injury. But uh, a lot of people think it pro possibly is another ACL uh, rupture. This is Sarah. I'm just editing the video. And as I was editing, the official word came out that it was a ruptured ACL. And not, this just sucks. <laughs> there was a statement. She ruptured her ACL and will undergo surgery in due course and will be sidelined for an extended period. It seems like everyone's keeping their spirits up because there was a couple of cute pictures that they posted of all the ACL1, ACL2, ACL3, ACL4 with Leah in Leah and Lara joining the the club. So, and Viv posted a cute picture that says club is full. So, you know, this is heartbreaking news for her and for Arsenal. And so, yeah, so that is the official news. And I mean, the moment she did it, you know, you saw that that kind of that extended step she took to mm -hmm. the side and and all the her teammates came around and she left on a stretcher. We like I said, we don't have an update, but it doesn't look good. Austria, she is on the Austrian team and the Austrian team did not qualify for the World Cup this year. So she won't be missing that. Part. Not that that's good, but that's one thing she'll be out for a long time, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that was one thing. You know, we did the video last time, Was Arsenal Cursed? And that was only kind of like a clickbait title. I'm starting to think it's uh, real. I, for, <laughs> and this is another one. Four ACLs in one season. So overall, very devastating loss. Yeah. The injury now, them losing in the semifinals. The only thing I'm trying to think, I'm thinking if they would have gone to the finals and they would have lost like this, it would have been more heartbreaking than getting to the finals. However, some people yeah. might look at it differently, saying... I rather 
get to the finals and lose because at least I was at the finals. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's harder to lose in the semifinals or do you think it's harder to lose in the finals? Because that's you were so close. I would have personally rather have gone further and, and then, then lost. lost them. Okay. Because at least you got one leg further. Yeah. True. True. I wonder what, you know, I wonder what the, I wonder well, what the average. Heartbreaking either way. Exactly. Sorry. Exactly. So who watched that? A wild game. Wild, wild, wild game. And then also, if anyone watched the Chelsea versus Barcelona uh, game, the Barcelona advance is also pretty heartbreaking for mm-hmm. uh, Chelsea. The Champions League finals, Wolfsburg versus Barcelona. Who is everyone rooting for? I don't know. Who saw that? But this is going to be kind of like a disjointed video. So Arsenal out, Barcelona beat Chelsea. But one team that was out of the Champions League quite a while ago was Lyon. And Chelsea actually beat Lyon, uh, I forget what round, but like over like a month and a half ago, two months ago at this point. Um, But two of the people we haven't talked about much on this channel in a while, but two people we have not talked about that are still going strong are Ellie Carpenter and Danielle Mm Vondidonk. DVD. We have not talked about them. I don't think we've talked about them since they took a holiday after the Euros last year and they went down to Australia. Uh, and yeah. that was the last time we really talked about them. But they just celebrated Ellie's birthday in Switzerland. Ooh. And amazing pics. We're going to get that to that in a second. But, you know, they're one of those couples. Remember last year when they kind of launched? It was, I believe, about 10 months ago, either in May or June. Launched their company. Uh, yes. As a couple. No, just kidding. <laughs> and, you know, it was one of those things kind of unexpected, but kind of like, whoa, what's going on? And they have been going strong ever since. Because also, we haven't talked about this, not that we're going to talk about it necessarily, but there's been other couples that maybe launched last year. Like, if anyone remembers, we uh, we talked about Rachel Rapino and Nikki uh, Stanton. They seem to have broken up. Nothing's confirmed or anything, but it doesn't look like they're together anymore. You never know if couples are going to, if it's going to be more of a long-term thing or a short-term thing. But Ellie and DVD are still going strong. We're going to go through some of their pictures. And then the big thing is their photo dump from Ellie's birthday. Um, but last year was like the kind of the last time we talked about them. Remember they had the trip with, I don't even know if we looked at kind of like these pictures right here with Ellie and DVD. But even a picture like right there of them kind of like in the dark. Um like sensual well, picture yeah that's yeah, giving me like that like underground european club vibes yeah it looks like they're in london oh, there whoa. that's that same place it looks like yeah it looks like a club yeah it looks like a club or a bar or something yeah it looks like a restaurant or something um and then even cute pictures like this really like couple oh look at where her hand is right there that's so cute oh i thought that was a brooch a brooch <laughs> <laughs> but that's so Ooh, cute then around christmas time I don't exactly know where they are, but for over the t- over the new year, they went somewhere. It looks like Australia to me, but it could be like Hawaii or it could be I actually don't know. Comment down below if you know where they were over the over the holidays, over Christmas and New Year's. They both posted photos and photo ups of their vacation and they both posted this one particular picture for Christmas and it said Merry Christmas or Merry Xmas. And it's them looking so cute, such holiday vibes. And like I said, I think this is Australia. I'm actually not quite sure. But um, they posted that for Christmas. And then for New Year's, they had a bunch of amazing pictures. And like right here of Ellie just by the palm trees. Oh, so nice. Pretty. And then pictures of their New Year. Because like right here, I mean, that is spectacular. Oh, I thought they did the thing with the sparklers. Oh, that'd be cool go, too. Wow, that was a little too neat for 2023. I know, I know. <laughs> right too neat. Right, right, right. Whoa. Scuba diving. That is so cool. Like oh, I, We're out here just living our best lives and we're just sitting on a couch. I know, <laughs> but so cool. And then they're uh, just vibes all the way around. Yeah, I'm like looking at these pictures. I'm getting jealous. I know. Let's <laughs> see if we can see by the boat. I'm, I, I'm suffering from FOMO. Maybe it's New Zealand. I'm actually not quite sure where it One is, dollar. but it's beautiful. That's a pick. Uh, I mean, this this gives me a little bit of FOMO. I will be honest. I don't get FOMO often, but Ugh. by the water, by that blue water. That's it. We're going on vacation. So beautiful. And then that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Ugh, I miss the beach. I know. We love the beach. And then even more pictures here. That's a cool Aww. picture. I like that setting, whatever setting they used for taking that picture. That was really nice. 
And then again, just like the beautiful. They must have been at a party for New Year's Eve. So yeah. right there. So cool. And then I mean, remember, Ellie uh, tore her ACL last May, I believe. So Ellie Carpenter actually returned around the beginning of February. So we talked about this in one of our last videos. The Kristen Press, the Kat Macarios, who seemingly their their rehab is taking a more of an extended time. Is mm -hmm. that because how the severity of their tear? Is that because of the actual strength of the leg? Uh, because yeah. it looks like Ellie Carpenter from when she tore her ACL, which is in, I believe, last May to February, she was back at a game. So she has been one of the people who has recovered qu more quickly than others. Every case is different yeah. and she's back. So, which is so cool to say, see, because I'm, I guess I'm kind of jumping ahead right now because LA Carpenter, I don't know if you saw this there, but I mean, they're going to be the team. They're going to be one of the teams to be in the world cup is Australia. Um, it's obviously at home in Australia. When you're at home, you always have that yeah, boost of, definitely people that crowd gets you i mean so gets behind you and not just that they just beat england like three weeks ago the australia beat england yeah it was their it was first wild. loss in a while and australia beat them and the fact that ellie carpenter has healed in enough time to come back for the world cup uh i think is really cool and i think australia is going to be the team to beat well they're going to be one of the teams to beat if not the team to beat one of the teams to beat they're in that top tier of teams to beat definitely yeah, it's going to be so exciting. Yeah, and I'm pumped for them. Cause then we have a cute picture here of them. Mm. They looked so cool. Like, how freaking cool do the they? Fashion. I love the fashion. That was actually like a Valentine's Day post that Ellie posted. Obsessed. Um, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what filter she used, but that color that color is really nice. It's almost like a um, golden hour kind of coloring. Mm. So pretty. Now you're a professional photographer. A little bit. <laughs> uh, and then they had, I don't think you saw this, Sarah. We should sit down and watch this. But Ellie and um, Danielle for Leon had this kind of, they had a Q&A, uh, like, and they interviewed each other. But it was mostly Danielle asking Ellie questions about Australia. Oh. <laughs> and it was Interrogation, it sounds no, like. No, it was kidding. super cute. And uh, Ellie seemed to know a lot about Australia, which is good because... She's from there. But a lot of times, like, if someone asked me questions about the U.S., I'd be, I'd know some of them, but I probably wouldn't know all of them. Yes, you would. You know a lot of Okay, you wouldn't know. <laughs> That's true. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was super cute. Sorry, you should go back and watch this because it's super cute. They're doing things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everywhere. And so that kind of leads us to a couple days ago. So it was Ellie's birthday a couple days ago. And the first thing, Danielle on her Instagram said happy birthday to my love and that was five days ago at this point and she just did a little cute photo dump of them and i'm just gonna kind of scroll through the pictures um first picture super cute i mean love the lighting they look great they look so cute together i love all these pics this fashion i mean fashion fashionistas yeah this is wild i love this look they match so well yet not not matchy you know what i mean love the next pic Oh, yeah, this is a pick. <laughs> this is a pick, all right. Very cheeky, oh, shall you say, yes. shall we say. And um, then we here shall. is a pick of, it looks like Ellie, probably at the at the Euro supporting Danielle, because obviously Australia doesn't play in the Euros, but she went to support her. Mm -hmm. um, super cute. And then a cute pick, a little kissy kissy. Yeah, so cute. Like, then Ellie getting her hair done. Oh, abs <laughs> of steel. What the heck? That's oh, wild. Yes. Woo. And then them winning champions league last year uh which which we all remember because danielle uh, that ellie got hurt and it was you know kind of wild yeah then it looks like they went off and had some fun for ellie's birthday because so if you go to ellie carpenter's instagram first you say she goes birthday weekend b-day weekend and i mean this first oh video gosh. i mean what is more breathtaking than that nothing nothing is to die for nothing is more bre breathtaking than that looks so beautiful uh. and i kind of like when it's like overcast or whatnot you know what i mean yeah. i like that vibe of like kind of not being sunny sunny so cool and then so this picture pretty. right here Oh, I Whoa, think they're model. Yeah, model. Oh, they cool. should have done a hair dip flip. Oh! Hair dip, a hair dip flip. Yes. Pick. <laughs> Would love that. And then again, the sunset. And we find out in Danielle's that this was in Switzerland, but we'll go we'll go to hers in a second. But beautiful. Uh, Europe is so pretty. 
Yeah, I know. Oh, this I love, I love floral prints. This floral print of DVDs. I think that is so cute. This is a really cool picture of Ellie in this like what are those infinity pools? Is that what they call them? Matching, and matching like exactly. Cute picture of them at the pool again. Oh, and food. Oh, lots of food. Wait, I'm zooming in. <gasps> Beautiful a salad. Food. Yes, looks, looks like a Caesar so salad. Okay, I'm starving now. <laughs> Doesn't take much Beautiful. to get me. Beautiful. <laughs> I know, I know. But they look like they had a great time. And then if we go over to Danielle's uh, Instagram, she had a one that was captioned. She said, invited myself. Mm. <laughs> so she yeah. invited herself cheekily on this sure vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. But super, I mean, breathtaking pictures of her. Oh, and a sauna. Look at sauna action. Yeah. That is so cool. Did you hear the thing? If you go in saunas, it extends your life by five years. I'm I read, joking. I read an article about that. I'm building a sauna I know. in our backyard. Then. I know. Exactly. <laughs> live forever. Just and kidding. then the same picture of the matching. Oh, and then a picture of them, her and her robe inside the, I'm guessing that was the room, but. Oh God, nice room. So nice. And more in this pool. Oh. And then if you look, um. Oh, I love this one of the of her back and yes. you get the uh the water in the the water in the background. Ex- I, I know, that. so pretty. And then if you look the very first picture DVD tagged Bergenstock Re- Resort and it looks like it's a hotel resort in Switzerland. So, I guess above Lake Lucerne. Beautiful place and so beautiful. I mean, they had a looks like the best birthday. I mean, cannot beat that. Then we had there there were some more pics in kind of stories. Like we saw this picture. Good morning. Just birthday vibes. Girlfriend vibes. Wifey vibes. You know. Wow. Unbelievable Bergenstock resort right there. That does look. That is. I mean, I don't know if this was like a sponsored thing, but it, it's selling. I mean, whatever they're selling, we're buying. <laughs> I had money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ellie's birthday looked like a win. I know they kind of crashed out of Champions League, but uh, they're both going to the World Cup this summer. I believe. I'm sure they're both going to make their respective countries teams right so that will be fun i don't know what groups are i don't think they're in the same group that'd be kind of wild if they were in the same group i don't think they are but that would be wild i know it so would um but just pump for them they have you know and they're still going strong you know if any couple you know every single day it can bring something different and some keep people you know some couples you know their course runs out and some people stay together you know what i mean so we're obsessed with each other <laughs> and it's unhealthy no, <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding so it seems like they're going strong they had an amazing birthday for ellie carpenter but happy for ellie and dvd and also pretty bummed for arsenal and yeah. you know that's just the way the cookie crumbles but what did everyone think um are you guys still uh, have you guys been following Ellie and DVD? Because I think there's going to be so many storylines this summer for the World Cup with a lot of these couples. And I think just the World Cup, everyone's getting so pumped. Obviously bummed for people, you know, everyone who's been hurt. But I'm so pumped for Ellie to be able to return in plenty of time for the World Cup. So yeah. what does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.